Hi everyone, it's Haley here from the Gale Library in Newton. I'm here today with your story time craft. So for anybody that tuned into our story time this week, it is National Get Caught Reading Month, which is perfect because we're in a library and we read a lot, right? <laughs> so we're gonna make um, some very fun book buddies today so that when you pick up your reading books, you can practice reading with a friend that you made yourself. <laughs> so the first one that we made, and I'm not gonna do an instruction for this, I just kinda wanted to show you. This, uh, this was in your bag and all you have to do is you take your clothes peg and you take some school glue and you put a line of school glue on the top. You pop all your pom-poms on, your googly eyes, and you have your very own bookworm that you could actually stick in your book to use as a bookmark or you could just use it as a book buddy and you can sit and read to your bookworm. <laughs> so they're very cute. And the next thing we're going to make is a book buddy that's going to sit next to you and read his book while you read yours. So in your bag, you will find a piece of blue cardstock. You should have four pieces of um, green, I think, long strips of paper. You will have two pieces that look like this, and they could be red or another color, I can't remember, um, but they're feet. Um, you'll have a piece of card that's kind of folded over like this to make a, kind of a book, and you'll have one of these, which is going to be a face <laughs> okay so this is super easy and all you're going to need is a glue stick and some kind of marker all right so the first thing we're going to do oh hang on we do need a pair of scissors so i'm gonna have to run and get those <laughs> so we're going to take our paper and we are going to fold about an inch and a half off the top like this so it looks like this all right, and then you're going to get, I'm going to tear this because I don't have scissors with me, but this is kind of going to make the hair of your book buddy. If you had scissors and you were clever, not like I was today because I forgot my scissors, we're going to kind of make hair for the top of our book buddy. And if you got the, um, if you did pick up the craft kit, you will see in the instructions that the hair should be kind of cut in a triangle. It just makes it a little more fun. And then you can kind of fold it up or down or make kind of the crazy hair. That's gonna be the hair of your book buddy. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our white piece of paper and our glue stick, and we're just going to glue the back of it. And we're going to stick it on to the front of our, of our crazy book buddy. Doesn't look much like a book buddy now, but he will, I promise. Now we're gonna add a face. Now you can do the face however you want. You can have a crazy face. You can just do eyes and a mouth. You can do whatever kind of face you want to put on your book buddy. I am just going to do, I just did a regular smiley face to make him look a little funny. All right, now the thing is, we're going to do next is we're going to make the arms and legs. Have you guys ever heard of accordion folding? That just means folding back and forward. So we go one way and then back the other way like this. So it kind of makes a, an accordion. So we're going to go back and forward. I'm going to fold all of our four strips of paper in an accordion fold like so. So you will have, it will look like this. And these are gonna be the arms and the legs. So we need to do this four times. I'm gonna pop a little bit of glue on the back and we are going to stick it. I'm gonna make this one my leg to the bottom, like so. I'm gonna stick glue on each end so I can stick it to the front and the back. So this is gonna be the little leg. Oop, I <laughs> keep popping open of our book buddy. We're gonna do exactly the same thing four times. So we have one leg. We're going to do the same thing again. And we're going to fold it back and forward in the accordion fold. And you can ask a grown up for help if you can't get the hang of it. It's just back and forward and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do it however you want. And then we're going to just pop some glue again on the back and on the front, here and here. I'm doing all of that. And then it kind of goes here like this and you stick it to the front, there are his legs. <laughs> Fun, huh? Now we're gonna stick his feet to the bottom so we can put a little bit of glue on the bottom of one. And we shall add his foot. 
and we'll do the same on the other. A little bit of glue on the bottom. We're going to add his other foot. Oh, popped away. Add his other foot. So now our book buddy has feet. He's just missing his arms. So let's grab his arms and we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to do the accordion fold all the way down the next strip. And again, you can get a grown up to help you if you can't quite manage. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add glue and we're going to stick his arms on too. And they can go right on the side of him. So there's one. They always look better with arms, right? Looks weird when they don't have arms and legs. So we're gonna do the same thing. Accordion fold. You guys are gonna be experts at accordion folding <laughs> after this, because we did it so many times. All right, we're gonna accordion fold. We're gonna add our glue. We're gonna stick our second arm on. And our book buddy is almost complete. He's missing one thing. Can you guess what he's missing? He's missing his book. <laughs> so we're just gonna attach this book to our book buddy's hands and we can do that using our glue stick. We're just going to add some glue onto one side and stick it on here. And we're gonna do the same for the other side and stick it on. And then we have got a book buddy who can sit and read his book while we read ours. How cute is that? Oh, there he is. My book buddy, reading a book to me and I will read a book to him. I hope you guys enjoy making this book buddy craft and I hope you get some reading done and I hope you get caught reading on National Get Caught Reading Month. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.